Zipo Zwan is the Business and Development Officer of International Partnerships at the Technology Innovation Agency. Mnele, and thank you very much for joining me, Zipo. Uh, maybe if we can start with the work that I suppose you have to go through in order to um, source out these partnerships that, you, you, that help innovators in South Africa. So thank you very much for having me. Maybe uh, first and foremost, um, the work that we do is to service the agreements that uh, the Department of Science and Innovation, as well as the, the Technology Innovation Agency has with uh, the international partners. The work we do is to ensure that uh, we give our innovators within the National System of Innovation the right exposure with the right partners to ensure that uh, they go the full distance, uh, which is to ultimately commercialize these innovations that they have. Mm. Uh, Zippo, there are different uh, partnerships and you guys have different programs that you run as here as well. Um, how do you then um, determine that this particular program fits there um, and, that par and, and, and that particular innovator that we have found, whether it's at a university, at a community, um, would be best served today? So luckily, uh, Mr. Zondi, we do not make that determination. Uh, we put out the calls and we invite applications to say to innovators, here is an opportunity for you to get this exposure in this program, be it, uh, it is the Swiss Ventures, be it GSIP, be it uh, the LEAF program and many other like programs. Uh, based on the applications received, we have a group of assessors who look at these applications and make that determination based on the needs of each innovator as well as uh, each SME that uh, they are going to go for this uh, program. But what's more important when we look at these, we also look at how it's going to benefit South Africa uh, and the innovator in the long run in ensuring that that exposure eventually leads to commercialization. Mm. Um, Zippo, talking about the Global Clean Tech um, Innovation Program, um, maybe if you can, last year's winner was South African, right? Um, and if we look at those issues and, and the standards that you then end up finding um, for these international programs here in South Africa, because a lot of people might not know the kind of standard that South Africa has. Uh, of course, it's always good feedback and it's a good uh, benchmarking exercise for us to be able to determine the strengths as well as uh, how well uh, our innovators are when compared to what the rest of the world has to offer. So whenever we do take a group of innovators into these programs, it was with hope that a South African innovator is going to emerge to once again reaffirm the wonderful work that is within our system of innovation. Mm. Um, and the feedback in general, apart from the, the winner, because someone might say, well, it was, there was one winner. So you can't be uh, punting the one winner. The feedback that you get from your international partners when um, they've met and they've engaged with the quality that comes out of South Africa. So you'll recall that the theme for this year's uh, event was think globally, act locally. So along with that theme or in thinking or in line with that theme, uh, the one feedback that we always get from our partners, they're always amazed that South Africa is bubbling with these uh, magnificent ideas which are not getting enough exposure. But uh, the purpose is not always to win, but to also ensure that uh, from the time that an innovator comes into a program to the time that they exit, you've seen the transition, you've seen the growth, you've seen them uh, mature through that program and you, you can only just let them go into the system and hope that they've acquired enough uh, skills, enough knowledge, and they've made enough networks for them uh, to continue on their journey. Mm. Um, with one of um, the speakers, we, we chatted about um, interna internationalization of South African ideas. Um, do you think we have um, these ideas that are global enough as they think local? Look, South Africa is not a small player in, in the international system of uh, innovation. And the fact that uh, in these various programs, South Africans do do well, uh, it is testimony to the strength and the depth that we have within South Africa. We have what it takes to compete internationally. It is a matter of building enough capacity and ensuring that there are instruments in the system to support these innovations. 
Mm. So that uh, maybe just to add, so that we do not have a situation where you have uh, someone doing well internationally, but who who has had to leave South Africa to go and do well. Mm. Um, and I suppose maybe that's the role that you you play in terms of like holding these ideas here at home. Um, because there have been many complaints, actually, um, in, in various spaces. Um, oh, everyone praises Elon Musk, and then everyone then asks, would Elon Musk be Elon Musk had he stayed in Pretoria um, and had he not left our shores? Um, obviously, things have evolved um, a couple of years on, um, or two, deca two decades on. Um, how do you then source out or, or suss out that these are the people that we need to be helping out. These are the people that we need to be partnering with those guys. So as, as strong as our system of innovation is, it is a relatively new system. One that is going through various shifts, various changes, and is maturing. Perhaps Elon Musk is a good example. Would he have been Elon Musk had he stayed in South Africa? And that is something that we often ponder about. But one needs to also appreciate that uh, at the time when Elon Musk made the break and made the move, he was too young, he probably would be better, he might not even have made it at all. But the system is continually changing, improving, to ensure that it fully caters for the South African system of innovation. Right. And you trust in your system and your international partnerships? I think we have the right people in the right places, the right leadership, and the right partners around the table. And we fully trust that the system that we have uh, will deliver, given enough time. Zipozwane, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Zondi. All right, so Zipozwane there is Business Development uh, Officer um, at, of International Partnerships, rather, at the Technology Innovation Agency. Mm -hmm.